everyone, my name is Pyle Agarwal and I want to welcome you to the Affirmation Addict Podcast. Affirmations have changed my life and now it is my mission to help you use them to change yours by using affirmations every day to manifest things your way. My goal is to make affirmations attainable and accessible to every single person, including you, because you have the ability to take control and create your reality. So come with me on my journey and let's see what we can manifest together. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Affirmation Addict podcast. And on today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you about how to create the perfect affirmation and how to use your affirmations. Um, But before I get started, I wanted to just say that I am super sorry that it took me longer than a week to get my next podcast up. Um, I'm actually back in Washington and we're doing some home renovation stuff and I left my mic in Arizona so I was waiting for it to come in the mail and it was just a whole fiasco and we've just been building and going to Home Depot making those runs. So I just wanted to say sorry that it took longer. Um, I'm going to record a couple and just kind of get those out to you guys as soon as I can um, to make up for some lost time. But thank you for such awesome, awesome feedback on the first podcast and I'm excited to keep creating more for you and I'm really happy you guys have been enjoying. And so today, um, the first thing I want to cover is how to create the perfect affirmation and really what goes into it. So in my opinion, I want to break it down super simply because there's a couple things that really make an affirmation work and really make the affirmation positive um, and attracting the correct things. Because sometimes we think we're doing an affirmation, but we realize we're attracting the wrong thing. And so there's three main things um, with creating the perfect affirmation. So the first thing is you want it to be in present tense. So that's why it's, you see so often like I am, or, um, I am doing this or I have this. And that's why you kind of say it in a form of gratitude, because if you're saying it in a form of gratitude, it's like you already have it. And the reason present tense is so important is because it's showing that you do have it. If you say it in the future tense, like I will have a million dollars, then that will stay in the future tense. It won't really acknowledge that it's in your hands at this moment. It'll kind of acknowledge that it's always in the future. It's always like a goal that you can't reach. That's kind of the idea. And so some examples of present tense affirmations are things like, I have everything I need right now, or I am super happy with my job, or I love my spouse, even if you're not married or don't even have a boyfriend. You say things in the present tense as if they are already there because because of the law of attraction and the way your subconscious mind works, you really want your subconscious mind and yourself to believe that you already have it and that you can touch it. You don't want it to be something that's so far-fetched in the future and almost you have to imagine it that you can only see it. You can't really touch it. So you really want it to be as tangible as possible. And that's kind of the key. And then the next kind of technique for creating really good affirmations um, is saying it in a positive way and focusing on what you want. You don't say it in a negative way or what you don't want. So I'm going to break that up into two. So we'll first talk about positive versus negative. So in a positive way, you're going to say um, something like, I love my job. And in a negative way, you, you would say, I hate my job, so I hope I get a new job. That's kind of positive versus negative, you have to still say you're satisfied with your job and that you love your current job. Even if you don't, you have to really say you're thankful for it and you appreciate it rather than saying, I hate my job, I deserve a better job. That's the positive versus the negative. You really want to make sure that you're staying in the positive realm because if you're in the negative realm, that's just you're going to more attract negative things. And then on that note, if you don't want something to happen, Um, you don't say the word like you, when you're making an affirmation, you don't say, I don't want, you say, I want. So if you want, let's go to my brownie example. If you don't want a chocolate chip cookie and you only want a brownie, your affirmation will not be, I don't want a chocolate chip cookie. Your affirmation will be, I want a brownie. Because if you want that chocolate chip cookie, If you talk about the chocolate chip cookie, you are going to get that chocolate chip cookie because you're actually 
putting energy towards the chocolate chip cookie rather than the brownie. So that's why it's having like the words like not or never or don't want in certain contexts are not helpful when you're creating an affirmation because you really want to only focus on what you want. Basically, in your affirmations, don't even give any attention or any energy to what you don't want because if you put any energy towards what you don't want, you're still thinking about it. And by default and by law of attraction, whatever you put your energy to is what you get, even if you're thinking, I don't want that, because you're still thinking about that subject. So I hope that makes sense. And just as a little recap, um, the two main things are you want it in present tense, and then you want a positive statement focusing on what you want rather than a negative statement focusing on what you don't want. And then in terms of how to really use these affirmations, um, the main overarching thing is repetition um, and repeating it because it helps download into your subconscious. It's not that you repeat it and you just kind of say it over and over again meaninglessly. You're repeating it with feeling and emotion. Like you have to really believe that it's possible and in any way that you repeat it. Um, whether you're reading it over and over again or you're writing it in your journal or you're saying it out loud. Those are kind of the three main ways people really practice their affirmations and however you're doing it, whether it's one, two, or all three of those, you need to be repetitive about it because you have to keep seeing it. You have to keep feeling that emotion. It's not just a one-stop shop. Like it's not, I said, I have my dream job one time and I got my dream job. There's you really work towards it in different ways. Like affirmations is a practice. It's like a lifestyle. It's not, I said it once, I wrote it down once, I forget about it. You say it, you write it down and you read it, but you also act on it. There's a lot that goes into it. And it's really a lifestyle shift that I think a lot of people take for granted. And they, a lot of people come to me like, well, I've been saying my affirmations. And I'm like, okay, well, there's probably more to it. Are you saying things that contradict those affirmations right after you say your affirmations? A lot of people do that and don't realize it. So you really have to make sure that all your focus is on those positive affirmations. And I want to touch on the three things I mentioned earlier, which is how to really use those affirmations, whether it is reading it, writing it, or saying it out loud. And each of these three is super effective and super important. And I personally do all three. If it's something I'm really, really, really working towards, I do all three of them. And the first one is reading it, whether it is um, a note on your phone or your wallpaper or you're rereading it from your journal, just reading it and seeing those words I'm a very visual person, so it helped, like, if I'm just, like, kind of daydreaming or thinking, like, it almost pops up as a snapshot in my head, and, like, I can see it. Some people, like, like writing them on their mirrors, sticky notes, really cute art. You can, there's so many things, but having a way where you see it and you just look at it and you read it is so effective because it's just a reminder for your subconscious, and it's, like, one more time, it goes into your subconscious brain and it's just it just keeps downloading and becoming stronger and stronger. And then the next one is writing it down. This is my favorite one personally because I love writing. I love journaling and I love journals, as you guys know. Um, journals are just my thing. I love writing them down because for me, it's like once I start writing, like one affirmation, I just more and more flow. And some there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can write one single affirmation and write it over and over again. I personally don't do that as often. Or I write one affirmation, but then I write affirmations surrounding that one topic. So because there's a lot of energy around certain things that you want to manifest. And it's not like if I want to manifest a lot of money, it's not just one thing that I need to do. There's a lot of things that play into play into the role of me making a lot of money. So then affirmations surrounding that just flow out of you. And so that's why I really think writing is important because once you start, um, your brain kind of gets into that mode and just different things come out and things that you don't even realize. So I really do recommend like taking a couple minutes during the day and just writing down some of your affirmations. And then the next thing, um, and the most impactful, like research has shown 
how important it is to do this one is saying your affirmations out loud. Like you can read it, you can see it, you can write it down, but you hearing your voice and you saying it out loud is the most like declarative, I don't even know if that's a word, but like the most like declaring statement for your mind and for your brain. Because you saying like, I have a million dollars right now is way more powerful than you reading maybe someone else's post that they that for the affirmation, I have a million dollars, is much more effective if it's coming from your mouth, like from your voice, because your brain registers your voice and considers your voice as truth. And that's why it's so important to say them out loud. And that this is one thing I do all the time is on my long morning commutes, um, I will just talk to myself and say affirmations for like 20 minutes. And it's the most like, energizing and rejuvenating thing because you just feel like you have an amazing lifestyle and that's the whole point like the more you say it out loud like you will feel the power and recently you guys might have seen some of my posts where I say okay repeat these affirmations 10 times because saying it once or twice is okay you said it but saying it 10 times and like saying it with all your emotion and all your feeling is unreal like the power you feel and some of those really strong affirmations it just you can't deny it like you can't fake yourself out of that like you and you will end up believing that like if I say I am sad and if I say I'm sad 10 times I'll probably feel sad but if I say I'm happy 10 times I'll also probably feel happy and that's the power of your voice and how your mind functions and how it registers your voice And that's why I really want to encourage all of you guys to not only read your affirmations, not only write them down in your journal, but really, really put extra effort to say them out loud. And sometimes I know that's hard if there's always somebody around you, you don't get that much alone time. But just even if you whisper it, like just try and make your voice a part of your affirmation practice because it makes such a big difference. And so as a recap about how to use your perfect affirmations, um, there's three things you can do. So you can read it, whether you're reading it on like my Instagram post in your notes, um, you print it out or you write it down or you paint it. Um, just make sure you can see the affirmation somewhere. You can set it as your wallpaper on your phone. Um, just make sure you see it and you just your brain just looks at it, reads it, and it just registers in your brain. And then writing it out in your journal, writing one single affirmation out or writing a bunch of them one after another. And lastly, saying it out loud. Saying it out loud is the most powerful practice and I don't think people take advantage of it because it's honestly sometimes pretty difficult. If it's something you're really, really working towards and you have maybe some doubts or limiting beliefs, like you'll feel yourself holding yourself back from saying it out loud because you can't fake it. Like it's hard to just not if you really don't believe you can do it it'll you'll struggle to say it out loud like why do we choke up if we're lying you know so that's why saying it out loud will help you develop your beliefs of it being truth and those are the three things I really really want you guys to work towards but put extra emphasis towards saying it out loud at some point during your day just give yourself even two three minutes will make such a big difference like say one affirmation 10 times and just really try that out and let me know how you like it And so the last thing I really wanted to do on this episode was I wanted to tell you guys some of my favorite affirmations that I've been working on because I think it'll give you guys a snapshot of just personally what I am working towards. Um, For example, I'm working towards having a positive influence on people and I'm really trying to work on growing my social media and growing my basically influence and presence um, on a personal level but also um, for affirmation added, like for my business because that's something I'm super passionate about is spreading the word and having people um, be able to trust me and me be able to make their day a little better whether it's bringing them a positive affirmation or answering a question that they've been dying to get answered so that's my purpose and my goal right now and that's something I'm really really strongly working towards and so some of the affirmations that I'm using for that are I positively influence those around me I bring happiness and energy to everybody I interact with, whether it's in person or on social media. I radiate love. I am an unstoppable force of kindness, love, and generosity. 
and I am in a blissful state at all times, and I'm in balance with every aspect of my life. So those are kind of my guiding affirmations. One thing I do personally is I have five or six affirmations that I write down and keep by my bedside, and I change those up every week because I think we're always changing as people, and I think everybody has different goals or different priorities for certain weeks and mine change all the time just based on my mood or what I'm going through and so these were my kind of five or six affirmations for this week that I just have written down by my bedside. I see them a lot. I write them down in my journal every single day and I also say them out loud every single day. Um, I say them in the morning and at night. And so I just wanted to kind of give you guys an insight onto what I am personally working on um, and maybe those affirmations might work for you. And so I hope that helps. Um, but in essence, that's what I wanted to touch on today um, is just give you guys an idea of how to create the perfect affirmation and how to really use them because affirmations are such a powerful tool in manifesting what you really want to manifest. And I don't think people really get to see how to use them and how to use them in your daily life. It's not like you have to set aside like two hours in your day like these are things that you can do super nonchalantly if that's what you need um, or you can be really open about it as well and post it and have it as your wallpaper put it up everywhere so there's a lot of different extremes that you can go to um, that work for you and so I just wanted to share what I do and what I've learned and I really really hope this episode was able to give you some more clarity on how to use affirmations, how to create the best and most effective affirmation for you. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for spending some time with me. And I hope this episode helped you as much as I enjoyed recording it. Um, I really hope that you guys will let me know how much it helped you or if you put any of these into practice. Um, just let me know. I love hearing what you guys are doing and if you guys are able to take some of my tips or take some of the practices I personally do and implement them into your life because I love seeing um, these affirmations working for you. That's kind of what brings me happiness. As you can see, my affirmations surround like really helping other people and being able to bring positive energy into other people's lives. And so once again, um, if you guys do get a second, um, I'm really going to try and make this podcast accessible to as many people as possible. So I put everything into this podcast. Like I don't hold any information back. So it's just like a no filter, all things, law of attraction, affirmations, and just really manifestation. So I want to be able to spread this knowledge and awareness to as many people as possible because I think everybody can only benefit from this. And so if you want to be a part of that movement and help me out, please give me a rating um, on your podcast app or a review and you can share on your social media. Um, do anything just to help me spread the word because then together we can help other people just be better people and be the best versions of themselves. And so I just want to say thank you again for listening and tuning in. Um, I promise I will be quicker next time about bringing you some more podcasts, but thank you guys. And I'm sending you all my love. Have a good one, you guys. Bye. That's all I have for you guys. And I just want to say thank you again for spending some time with me. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, head over to my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Or go to my website if you want to subscribe to my email list, which is affirmation-addict.com. I cannot wait to hear from you guys. And I will talk to you guys super soon. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.